I am here at the Nashville Fairgrounds here in Tennessee, and the State Fair is not. What happened to the Tennessee State Fair? Well, it's not here for several reasons. One of them is pretty big. So if you want to find out, stick around, and I'll take you to the Tennessee State Fair. All right, so what exactly is happening with the Tennessee State Fair? It's moving. So you're moving? No, not me. The fair, the fair is moving. You're moving? It's the fair, the fair, the Tennessee State Fair is moving. Wait, wait, you're moving? Who's moving? Yeah, don't you watch the news? It's the Tennessee State Fair. It's the fair that's moving. I'm moving. You're moving? No, it, it's moving out of Nashville. What do you mean you're moving out? Why? Well, it's moving from Nashville, which is in Davidson County, Tennessee. And it's moving on over. Moving on? Moving on. No, it's moving on over to Lebanon, which is in Wilson County. So you're just quitting and moving away? It's not moving away. It's just 30 minutes. It's about 30 miles from downtown Nashville over to the Lebanon Fairgrounds. Let me show you. All right, it's officially called the Wilson County Fair, Tennessee State Fair. And to get your bearings, here's downtown Nashville. And not far from the skyline is the Nashville Fairgrounds. And just 30 miles across I-40, you land in the heart of Wilson County. You'll find the Wilson County Fairgrounds where it is literally all fun and games. Now there are a few reasons for this move, not the least of which is the amount of people. In 2019, the Tennessee State Fair at the Nashville Fairgrounds had about 100,000 people. In 2019, at the Wilson County Fair, there were 580,000 people, okay? So the first Saturday alone of this year, 2021, with the State Fair now being in Wilson County, the first Saturday alone, there were over 100,000 people. That was more than the entire State Fair while it was at the Nashville Fairgrounds. So people is a big reason. The other reason is land. There's way more land at the Wilson County Fair. The Nashville Fairgrounds have 117 acres. The Wilson County Fairgrounds have 267. So needless to say, there's just more room there, which means they can accommodate more people. In fact, the Wilson County Fair has been the biggest fair in the state. One thing that makes the Wilson County Fair so special is Fiddler's Grove. You step into Fiddler's Grove Village and it's like stepping back in time. You can visit one room log cabin one room schoolhouse. doctor's office, see how a buggy used to be made, there's a funeral home, a sheriff's office, a jail, a drugstore, post office, hardware store, even a barber shop. Of course, there's the general store. The Wilson County Fair has all kinds of sight, sound, smells that you would expect from any fair. But one of the things about moving from Nashville out to Wilson County is there's a big focus on agriculture. 
Agriculture is one of Tennessee's, if not the biggest industry here in Tennessee, followed closely by tourism and entertainment. But because of the agriculture aspect, you'll find some of these. Some of those. A few of these. A lot of these. One of those. And, um, and they've got some tractors. And you can expect to see a tractor or two. Did I mention there are tractors? The Wilson County Fair has lots of tractors. Agriculture's a really big deal at the Wilson County Fair. about the motorized events, the demolition derby, the tractor pull. They even have a four-wheeler radio. Radio, roadie, rodeo, rodeo, not radio. Four-wheeler rodeo. So remember back at the beginning of the video when I mentioned that one of the reasons for the fair moving was pretty big? Well, it's not here for several reasons. One of them is pretty big. Well, I'll tell you a lot more about that in my next video, so watch for that, but right now I'll just show you what it is. I hope to see you at one of the Tennessee State Fairs. In the meantime, like and subscribe, and you'll get notified when I make the next video of this thing behind me. See you soon. God bless.